Please welcome Emmy Award winning Channel 19 co-anchor and journalist Sia New Yorker. Good evening, Northeast Ohio, and welcome to the 34th annual Weatherhead 100 Awards presented by Key Bank. Thank you so much for coming out and spending your evening with us. Tonight we are going to celebrate extraordinary success and also celebrate 34 years of this annual tradition of recognizing the fastest growing companies right here in Northeast Ohio. Please join me in thanking our presenting sponsor, Key Bank. They have been the presenting sponsor of the Weatherhead 100 for many years. Thank you so much for your continuous support. All right. We would also like to thank Cranes Cleveland Business, this year's 2022 media partner. I hope that you all were able to enjoy the cocktail hour, some magic by magician Ricky Smith Jr. And I hope that you grabbed a red carpet picture celebrating your well-earned success. Now, when you post your pics on social media, we want you to use the hashtag WH100 It is very important so that we can catalog it and all see it. We would also like to thank our Sapphire sponsor, Echo Health, for sponsoring the wine service right here tonight at dinner. And thank you to our Pearl sponsor, Franz Ward, who is sponsoring our evening coffee station. Also, thank you to the staff right here at the Hilton Cleveland downtown for the first class service that we're receiving. Amy Pappas from AZA Events for helping us to produce this wonderful event. Enjoy dinner. Our ceremony will begin at 7.30. Bon appétit. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to our little party here at the Hilton downtown. Uh, I'm Andrew Medvedev, and here with uh, my partner, J.B. Silvers, we're just thrilled to welcome you after what seems like a forever hiatus, even though it's only been three years. Uh, what a joy it is to see so many of, our fa of your faces here in the audience. Um, we've, uh, I think, all thought and back in March of 2020 that, ah, you know, we'll, we'll be back in the office by May. And then, ah, we'll set this one out, we'll do it next year. So I think, I think we've all learned a few lessons, and we're th just absolutely thrilled to have you all here. There's so many things we want to do today, but first we definitely want to thank the people that made this possible, starting with our sponsors. We really love having a party, and particularly when we can celebrate people that we really care about. Let me just mention KeyBank, if we mentioned them before, Echo Health, France Ward, and Cranes Cleveland Business. Done a great job. And this party would not have been possible without talented individuals that really worked around the clock to make it happen, starting with our inredoubtable Molly Smith. Molly, stand up. Molly, Molly stand, stand up. up. Oh, over here, great. Uh, also, thank you very much, Amy Papas from AZA Events. Amy, uh, uh, you're quite the rock star when it comes to putting on a great show. And the entirety of the Weatherhood School of Management team. Thank you. We've got quite the program for you tonight, but I think the, the, the theme for the night is togetherness. We are, again, I think reminded how good it is to actually reconnect as a community. And Weatherhead, as we'll talk about uh, later on tonight, has a critical role to play as, the, as that glue that hopefully binds this community. There's a ton of momentum around Cleveland. As someone who has recently come back to the region after 25 years away, I am blown away by the change and dynamism and the things that we haven't seen probably in decades. And I think it's exemplified by the growth and the development and the opportunity represented by all of you in this room. So thank you, and we cannot wait to celebrate tonight with you. And our key partner, Key Bank, you want to turn it over to them and have them say a few words about the sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you. Always a winner. Hey. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Kelly Lamran, and I'm the market president for Key Bank here in Cleveland. Thank you for attending the annual Weatherhead 100 Gala. First, congratulations to everyone being recognized during this year's event. Your hard work, dedication to this region, and commitment to excellence is admirable. Next, I'd like to thank the Weatherhead School of Management and Case Western Reserve University. For many years, Key Bank has believed in the mission of Case Western and proud to support the various programs. We believe this prestigious university has transformed not only Northeast Ohio, but our nation too. Young people across our area and beyond have the opportunity to work with and learn from the finest faculty, staff, and administration. And I can confidently say, on behalf of everyone at KeyBank, we are lucky to have this right in our backyard, allowing us and many other companies to have a strong candidate pool, from interns to senior level managers. We look forward to the continued innovation from Case Western Reserve University and are ready to welcome that talent here at KeyBank. Thank you and enjoy the evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Chris Doyle and I am the commercial sales leader for KeyBank here in Cleveland. It's an honor to be a part of the annual Weatherhead 100 Gala. Tonight, we're not only celebrating the companies around this room, but also this is a time to recognize the amazing work being done at Case Western Reserve University. The innovation, development, and renaissance that comes from this university is remarkable, and Cleveland is truly lucky to be at the heart of it all. This community and region is grateful for all you do and the talent that you help nurture and grow. On behalf of everyone at KeyBank, I am thrilled to say we will continue to support Case Western and its groundbreaking programs and students. For years, we have witnessed the positive outcomes of our investments come to life and believe truly the best is yet to come. Thank you. Please welcome back our evening's host, Sia New Yorker. How's everybody doing? Good. All right. So I'm going to go off script for a little bit. I want to thank the wonderful students from Case Western School of Music who provided the entertainment tonight. They were over here in the corner. They were phenomenal. Thank you for that. All right, I'm delighted to be here to host the 34th annual Weatherhead 100 Awards, and I'm so excited to celebrate these wonderful companies with you. Now tonight, we'll not only learn what companies grew the fastest, but we'll also hear a few of those good stories. At this time, I would like to invite from our presenting sponsor, Key Brank, Chris Doyle, commercial banking sales leader to the stage for a few words. Chris. Thank you, Sia. Hello, everyone. It's great to be here tonight. My name is Chris Doyle. I'm a commercial sales leader for Key Bank here in Cleveland. On behalf of everyone at Key, I'm honored to be back in person with all of you for one of the city's premier events, the Weatherhead 100 Awards. This is a great time to recognize and celebrate Northeast Ohio's spirit of entrepreneurship and the companies leading the way. We are pleased to sponsor the Weatherhead 100 Awards, and along with all of you, take great pride in our city and our role as Cleveland's hometown bank. KeyBank is more than just a major company and major employer here. Every day our 5,000 teammates serve thousands of clients and hundreds of organizations across Northeast Ohio. We are committed to stabilizing and revitalizing our neighborhoods and with each interaction it is our mission to empower business to succeed, neighborhoods to thrive, and individuals to achieve all their goals. To date, Key has invested more than $1 billion in Northeast Ohio as a part of our National Community Benefits Plan, supporting affordable housing and community development, small business, home lending, and transformative philanthropy. But we can't do this alone. It's because of strong partnerships with several community organizations and businesses like yours. When people work together, this region thrives. So I look forward to a great time this evening, a night of recognition as we celebrate an elite group of business leaders and companies who are the best examples of leadership, growth, and success in our region. I'd like to recognize everyone here from the Weatherhood School of Management and Case Western Reserve University. You are all driving force behind the innovation, development, and renaissance that Cleveland continues to enjoy. You have the respect of the leaders here locally 
and your expertise and work has received you international acclaim. We are so lucky that you are part of our community and know that all of us at KeyBank and all of us here are grateful to all that you do and the talent that you help nurture and grow. So again, thank you and congratulations to all the honorees tonight. Enjoy the rest of the evening. All right, thank you, Chris. Now the reason we are all here, let's begin these awards. If your company is the number one company, you will be asked to join us on stage for photos and say just a few words. Let us begin by recognizing the 2022 Weatherhead 100 winners. Weatherhead winners are companies whose net sales were at least 100,000 in 2017, which is year one of five years required for application and over 1 million in year five, 2021. Lots of math there. Winning companies must have employed at a minimum of 16 people full time in the last year. So let the countdown begin. Number 87, then design architecture. Number 86, pure buttons. Number 85, North American Coding Laboratories. Number 84, The Spyglass Group. Number 83, Perspectus. Number 82, World Synergy Enterprises. Number 81, Allegro Real Estate Brokers and Advisors. Number 80, Foundation Software. Number 79, SC Fastening Systems. Number 78, T&D Fabricating Inc. Number 77, Five Lakes Dental Practice Solutions. Number 76, WHS Engineering Inc. Number 75, Brooks and Henderson Building Company, LLC. All right, congratulations. All of you are doing fabulous work here in Northeast Ohio and making an impact in our economy through your success. We'd like to take a moment to thank tonight's table sponsors. All right, Collier's. All right, thank you, Collier's. E.A. Loxley. Kittles. Sweet Kittles. Sweet Kittles. All right, Union Home Mortgage and WAN Dynamics, thank you. Let's give them a round of applause. All right, and now on with the countdown. Number 74, JCI Contractors. Number 73, Technical Assurance Inc. Number 72, Corporate Technologies Group, Inc. Number 71, Bialoski Cleveland. Number 70, Handy Rents and Aladdin Rents. Number 69, Corrigan Krause CPAs and Consultants. Number 68, Infinium Wall Systems. Number 67, WTWH Media. Number 66, Legacy Roofing Services. Number 65, Inner Circle Advisors. Number 64, True Hire. Number 63, Etactics Inc. Number 62, Grants Plus. Number 61, Laser Point. Number 60, Premier Development Partners. Congratulations to you all. Let's give them a round of applause. Congrats. All right, each year Weatherhead recognizes the fastest growing companies in three different categories. The Weatherhead winners, which we have already started announcing, Upstarts and the Centurions. Let's take a moment to learn about the Weatherhead 100 Upstart Award. Now our Upstarts are those companies whose percentage of sales growth in the same five year period, 2017 to 2021, 
and who employed 15 or fewer employees and or had less than $5 million in net sales in the last year. So let us take a break from the Weatherhead 100 winners to recognize these upstarts. <laughs> Number 32, Intec Computer Solutions. Number 31, Form. Number 30, Ralston Instruments, LLC. Number 29, Standout Stickers. Number 28, Everest Land Title Agency. Number 27, U.S. Freight. Number 26, E.A. Loxley & Associates. Number 25, Plan Financial Services. Number 24, 42 Connect. Number 23, River Rock Advisors. Number 22, DMS Management Solution. Number 21, Genesis and Associates. All right, congratulations. Now we're going to take a pause from meeting the rest of those upstart companies and drop in to hear from a Weatherhead alum and to invite Dean Andrew Medvedev back to the podium. The Weatherhead School of Management combines its leadership in design thinking, emotional intelligence, quantitative methods to construct the prototype of the modern leader. Our programs, such as the MBA and the EMBA, are built around some of the most urgent challenges faced in the executive suites throughout the region and the world. The EMBA program, we started that one because we knew there were advanced executives who could really do a lot for the community if they had a little bit more business education. Almost every organization in Cleveland has had some of our EMBAs that have turned out to be just top flight executives. The full-time MBA often brings people in from outside that come into Cleveland and many of them wind up staying here. And they're a huge resource for the community. What I didn't realize when I first enrolled in the Weatherhead EMBA is that the courses that I would learn from from emotional intelligence to business model design to creating organizational and societal change, that together these would be the perfect preparation for the world that we're in today. I was introduced to the idea of what it means to be a conscious leader or to have a purpose-driven business. The interesting thing is 13 years later, uh, we now teach conscious leadership to companies like Facebook and Google and BMW. Our purpose at Exchange is to unlock human potential at scale. And the way that we do that is through a new approach to design and facilitation of different types of meetings. Teaching consultants, coaches, workshop leaders, organizational leaders, how to bring our methodology into the groups that they have access to. How do we redesign and facilitate the way that we gather so that we can tap into the collective intelligence of a team? When the pandemic got here, we challenged ourselves. What can we do better and more effectively online? The speed and the scale at which we could bring large groups together from reimagining industry conferences to organizational leadership teams, it was beyond what we thought was possible. We're doing it with the same methodologies and principles that I learned at the EMBA program over a dozen years ago. On behalf of our team at Exchange, it is a tremendous honor to be a Weatherhead 100 award winner. Thank you, John, for that terrific video. Gosh, every time I see our alums in action, I'm blown away, and this is no exception. Thank you, uh, everyone, and again, once again, welcome to this fine event. Uh, we are proud to be a sponsor for Weatherhead 100 for many reasons. I mean, it's a chance to meet new and exciting people, many for me here tonight alone celebrate excellence, and of course, uh, break out the old tux for a lot of you and let loose after a long year. But really, we're most excited about the opportunities to get to know you and your companies even better. JB and I both believe that a business school success is measured by really the most important thing, which is to what extent are we the intellectual hub of our corporate community? 
are we the ongoing source of innovation for your companies and things that really matter to you? Things like supply chain that we all learned about in the last couple of years. Things like sustained innovation and most of all, that critical element of change and leadership management. Do, how do we do that? Are we a forum that brings new ideas and leaders and opportunities to Northeast Ohio? Are we a consistent source of young talent for your companies? that is really well trained. And by well trained, we don't mean some esoteric theoretical concepts, but that really magical combination of grit, creativity, and determination that we all look for. And critically, are we a place that you and your companies turn to for a lifetime of coaching, training, and development of your own talent? And JB and I took the helm at Weatherhead earlier this year to make sure that the answer to these questions is a resounding yes. But we cannot do that without integrating the private sector perspective into, the, uh, into our walls. That's why we built what we call a uh, life skills boot camp for our MBA class, which is now taught by our senior executives. It's why we're equipping our programs and departments which ind with individual advisory boards staffed by senior executives that can help us look around the corner and help our students find those precious opportunities. And that's also why our instructors range from the top five academics in the world to some of the C-suite leaders right here in town, such as KeyBank's own Clark Hyatt, the new CFO, as well as uh, Don Schilling, the senior head of portfolio management, who are JBs and my partners on the faculty. So we encourage you all to take a look and join the fellow ranks of other leaders in the region to add Weatherhood grade content to your company. Lots of ways you can engage with us. You can plug into, your into our classrooms and help us with experiential learning for our students. There's a reserve army of 500 and some graduates who can't wait to get into your companies and tackle that project that you always, always wanted to get to. You can come join our executive education community, which is rooted in that science of leadership, be it emotional intelligence, appreciative inquiry, all things invented right here at Weatherhead. We offer a range of programs that I'm sure that uh, uh, we can tell you a lot more about at, at a later point that range anywhere from open access programs that you can sign up for or customized programs that are suited to your companies and of course our signature programs like Leadership Deep Dive, the Women's Leadership Institute and our Executive Leadership Development Program we just launched to target the mid-career rising black professionals. And of course for the most comprehensive experience there's a suite of our degree programs be it our part-time MBA, executive MBA, such as where we are lucky enough to count John as one of our graduates, or other specialty master's programs. We can't wait to get to know you and find a way to be a part of your team and help you drive towards that next chapter. But for now, congratulations yet again. We cannot wait to celebrate tonight with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. In addition to seeing all the alumni that are doing great here in Northeast Ohio, we want to talk about the Exchange 19 uh, of our honored companies and our CEOs that are alumni of Case Western Reserve and 17 company CT CFOs that are also alumni at this time, we'd like to take a moment and recognize all the graduates of Case Western Reserve University who are present this evening. If you are, could you please stand? All right. Yay. All right. All right, that's great. All right, at this time, could Chris and JB join us back on stage as we listen to the top 20 upstarts? Number 20, AC Wellman. Number 19, Essential Wear Global. Number 18, iPlan Group. Number 17, Wave Strategy. Number 16, Tiny Circuits. Number 15, Ceresi and Morick. Number 14, Maud. Number 13, Clean Life. 
Number 12, the Telos Institute. Number 11, True Wealth Design, LLC. Number 10, Mortage Financial Services, Inc. Number 9, Woodside Health. Number 8, Kiwi Creative. Number 7, Exchange. Number 6, M. Genio. Number 5, Muse. Number 4, Plan Dynamics. Number three, IIoT World, LLC. Number two, 1010 Design. All right, now the moment we've been waiting for. The winner of the 2022 Weatherhead 100 Upstart Award with an annual growth of 993.06%. Please join me on stage. Even Mix. Come on up, Even Mix. And when I hold you in my arms, my love won't do you no harm. And I feel nice, I show them smile. I feel nice, a sugar and spice. So nice, so nice, I got you. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Wasn't really prepared for this, but you're all my friends now, right? Uh, well, it's been quite a journey, but, you know, I'd definitely like to thank, you know, God, my family, uh, my coworkers. You know, they really helped me get here. And uh, my EO and 10 KSB family. So thank you all very much. Congratulations. All right, congratulations to Even Mix and to all the 2022 Upstart winners. We look forward to watching your continued growth. Now we want to return to the Weatherhead 100 countdown. Let's go. Number 59, request a test. Number 58, compass self storage. Number 57, Simplified Facilities Group Inc. Number 56, Lake Tech. Number 55, Cherick Center for Health and Wellness. Number 54, Radcom Inc. Number 53, Starfish Computer. Number 52, Ashton Solutions. Number 51, LDA Architects. Number 50, Simplex IT. Number 49, On Point Interiors. Number 48, Carver Financial Services. Number 47, Fire Decks. Number 46, Aqueduct Lake and Pond Management. Number 45, At Net Plus. Number 44, Digital Print Solutions. Number 43, Molding Dynamics Inc. Number 42, Payroll4Construction.com. Number 41, Ancora. Number 40, Exacta Land Surveyors, LLC. Number 39, Consolidus, LLC. All right. Give yourselves a round of applause. Awesome group. Well done. At this time, we would like to recognize the 2022 Weatherhead 100 Media Partner, 
Crane's Cleveland Business, please help me welcome associate publisher Amy Stossel. Good evening. I will echo everyone and say it's so great to have everyone here in person again. I cannot believe it's been since 2019 since we've all been here celebrating, so happy to be back. For more than 40 years, Crane's Cleveland Business has been telling the story of business in Northeast Ohio. We have chronicled advancements and achievements, pioneers and entrepreneurs, successes and, of course, some failures. At Cranes, we also have been part of this dynamic story as the publishing and news industry has evolved with innovations in technology and connectivity. Some things haven't changed, though, since the first issue of Cranes Cleveland Business was printed in 1980. Northeast Ohio's business community is as resilient, resourceful, creative as ever a fact that's apparent by each of the companies being honored here tonight. On behalf of Crane's Cleveland Business and Crane's Content Studio Cleveland, I would like to congratulate each of you for being part of the continuing story of Northeast Ohio's success. It's a story that Crane's is proud to tell. All right, thank you so much, Amy. All right, at the conclusion of the program, each winning company will receive their award plaque and a few copies of the special Weatherhead 100 feature section, which will run in Monday's edition of Cranes. Now, the feature section will include the rankings for each of the award categories, along with the feature story of many of the companies that were here tonight. Let's keep this countdown going. <laughs> Number 38, Quality IP. Number 37, Incept. Number 36, Futuri. Number 35, Medical. Number 34, Enterprise Door and Supply. Number 33, Sequoia Financial. Group. Number 32, Colliers. Number 31, Choice Local. Number 30, Remax Haven Property Management. Number 29, SkyQuest. Number 28, Global Transport. Number 27, CrimCheck Technologies. Number 26, Repair Authority. Number 25, Connected HR. Congratulations to all. Now we're gonna take another pause from the Weatherhead winners and turn our focus to the Weatherhead 100 Centurion Award. Weatherhead 100 Centurions are the fastest growing companies with at least $100 million in net sales last year and continuous growths over the last five years. Now at this time, I'd like to ask Chris and our co-deans to come join me on stage as we count down the Centurion winners and prepare to honor the number one Centurion for 2022. Number 16, People Services. Number 15, Mars Electric. Number 14, The Federal Metal Company. Number 13, Talent Launch. Number 12, Jarrett Logistics. Number 11, Garland Industries, Inc. Number 10, Gnomes Healthcare. Number nine, Nations Lending Corporation. Number eight, Budget Dumpster. Number seven, Gem Core. Number six, Union Home Mortgage. Number five, Park Place Technologies. Number four, Marshberry. Number three, Echo Health. Number two, Crawford United Corporation. All right, can you just feel the anticipation? Who's it gonna be? The 2022 Weatherhead 100 Centurion winner with a growth of 773.41%. 
please join me on stage. Cross Country Mortgage. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Off of my city, off of my home. We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. I got that good soul in my feet. I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops. Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it. We're moving so phenomenally. We're more like the way we rock it. So don't stop. And under the lights when everything goes. Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. So just imagine. Well, thank you so much. This is quite a surprise. We also did not prepare any remarks, but Cross Country is so proud to call Cleveland and Northeast Ohio home and be part of the growth of this region. We were founded in Cleveland in 2003 and have grown significantly since that time as a top five retail mortgage lender with more than 8,000 employees and more than 600 locations across the U.S., but still very proud to call Cleveland home. Thank you. Congratulations to our Centurions and Cross Country Mortgage. Dean Silvers, will you please join me here on stage as we hear from some of our amazing students that are here tonight. When I first came to Case Western Reserve's campus and I saw our Peter B. Lewis building, I was like, oh my gosh, Frank Gehry designed that. The building doesn't have any corners. I think that goes very well with the philosophy that the school has, that you should be fluid. There's a lot of different things that showed me that Weatherhead really cared about me as an individual. They really have that sense of wanting you to succeed. When I'm in a classroom, I get that one-on-one -on -one attention. They're not just straight from academia. They've got a lot of experience in the real world. They definitely try to incorporate you know, real experiences in their class examples solving some legitimate business problem. And they are more than willing to say, hey, I've got this contact at the Cleveland Clinic, or I've got this contact at Key or Sherwin-Williams. My professor knew some folks at the Cleveland office of McKinsey, and I will be joining as a full-time associate upon graduation. We just got a job offer at EOI, one of the big four companies in accounting. I actually just recently accepted a job offer as an actuarial analyst at Progressive, largely through the help of Weatherhead Career Services Center, resume workshops, mock interviewing. Weatherhead has a pro program called Weatherhead Healthcare Scholars, where the Cleveland Clinic seeks two to three interns every year. Case Western Reserve is one of our top priority schools that we focus on at Key for hiring. I really liked the very technical nature of the Weatherhead School. But there are also classes like design, which really push at that qualitative element, that big sky thinking. I was drawn to Case because they had the Fowler Center, focusing on how can business contribute to making the world better. Weatherhead has XLab. I'm working on a student-led team with Progressive to help them digitally innovate. We got to learn how to apply those analytical and creative skills in a real-world context that I use in Goodyear's Innovation Labs every day. The Wheel Center for Entrepreneurship is a place where entrepreneurs or investors can give you some advice. I took an entrepreneurship course in Tanzania in January during my second year of the MBA. Everything that I learned at Case Western Reserve got me to where I am at Key. I'm super thankful for where I am right now. Wow, isn't that beautiful? It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since we built that beautiful Frank Gehry building. And if you haven't visited us there, I hope you will. It's just a wonderful place to work. And it still looks brand new, amazingly. Uh, what was also nice about this last video is I had many of those students in class over the years, so I really appreciate it. But I don't want to speak just about the students and about the educational program. Case Western Reserve and the Weather School are part of a national research university. And that's really important because that's the source of the, as, as uh, my co-dean mentioned, the intellectual hub of the business community. That's our goal. That's what we're trying to do. 
And, and we're very good at it. We, we mentioned we have a number of faculty, five I think, that are in the top, very top limits, uh, re top reaches of uh, scholars that are cited by others. But that's not really where the, the bottom line is. The thinking that we come up with in our research efforts help shape the educational institution that we have in, mul in multiple ways. It's led to major uh, educational uh, innovation. Uh, we started off on the basis of Richard Boyatz's original research, knowing what the key skills and abilities are for good managers, and we built that into an assessment program that we use with every MBA and we still have for probably 30 years now. That that was an innovation that came out of research and now is copied by others around. We decided a long time ago that senior executives had something to add as a, to give back to society. So we created a, a PhD level program for senior executives. We'd certainly be happy to have you join us and get your PhD at this point in time. And the practitioner scholars that have come out of that have made a huge difference. They're very loyal and very enthusiastic of what they're doing. Um, let me just give you a little bit more insight into the, instead of the generalities, some specifics. One thing that Andrew and I did when we first got started with this, uh, and we've only been doing this, by the way, for about four months, um, I went out, we went out and we asked the faculty members, tell us the three burning questions you have, the three issues you would really like to answer in, in your inquiry. Uh, I was gratified with the breadth and the depth and the range of those things that people mentioned. Let me just give you a little sample of this, because I think this is really important. If we say we're part of the, edu we're the educational center of the business community, it's because people are thinking at the edge of what we need to know. So let me, let me read a few of them off that we got back from this survey, because I think they're really interesting. And they go all over the place. How can employees achieve full leadership potential? We have a huge leadership effort there. What are the, how are genetics, cognition, and behaviors predictive on entrepreneurial success? We spend a lot of time thinking about what, what it takes to make entrepreneurs actually work. Does EQ matter more than IQ? A little loaded, but a very important one in terms of uh, emotional intelligence. What corporate events really matter to investors? An obvious thing for finance. How to drive corporate social responsibility? Environmental liabilities and the impact on production and investment. How to compete in a digital global world? Can customers have both data privacy and personalization? How does firm flexibility impact on capital structure? How can we measure and reward value in healthcare? That last one was mine, uh, one of mine. And it goes on, a whole list of probably 100 different topics that our faculty are passionate about. And this is really important. These are fascinating to me and should provide critical insights to you as managers because that's why we do it. Uh, understanding the implications of these, we think will make a difference for you in the future and your businesses. And our partnership with the, in, in this intellectual enterprise will have a further immediate payoff. I, in talking, I mentioned Richard Boyatzis earlier. In talking to him recently, we were discussing employee retention issues. Everyone has troubles with that. And he mentioned the research in chapter eight of his recent book uh, that, that reinforces the connection between the development of workers in the workplace and retention. That, that the ability to hang on to a valued staff is highly dependent on how many opportunities we give them to advance and grow. That's what we're all about. Our educational partnership literally, we think, can materially assist every one of you in this way. So there are many things that we think are partnership. And we thank you for sharing in this journey. You're all partners in this venture. Uh, and we expect to spend not only parties like this many more times in the future, but lots of interaction in your workplace, in our classrooms, and in society at large. So thank you again so much for being partners. It makes all the difference in the world. So, Thank you, Dean. Let's get on with the Weatherhead 100 Countdown. 
Number 24, Insight to Profit. Number 23, Heilman Group. Number 22, Midwest Home Care LTD. Number 21, Sweet Kittles. Number 20, Crescendo Commercial Realty. Number 19, On Partners. Number 18, Fit Technologies. Number 17, Apex Dermatology and Skin Surgery Center. Number 16, MAI Capital Management. Number 15, Green Space Construction Services. Number 14, Banyan Technology. Number 13, Direct Recruiters Inc. Number 12, Great Lakes Fasteners. Number 11, Rent-A-Daughter Senior Care Services. Oh my God, I love the excitement from Fit Technologies, all right. Congratulations to everyone. We are almost to the top. Now, before we reveal the top 10 categories, the top 10 companies, I want to thank you all again for coming out this evening and celebrating the amazing success of our organizations. Remember, the award plaques can be picked up in the back of the room along with the special Weatherhead Edition, 100 edition of Cranes Cleveland. Okay, I'd like to invite Chris and the deans back to the stage for the final time tonight. Number 10, Markham Wealth. Number nine, Carnegie Investment Council. Number eight, Sergeant Clean Car Wash. Number seven, Enforce Technologies. Number six, Textbook Painting. Number five, Relink Medical. Number four, Calix LLC. Number three, Roofsmith Restoration Inc. Number two, Powder Med. All right, we have been waiting for this moment. The final award of the evening. First time Weatherhead 100 winner in this year's number one with revenue growth of 995.08%. Please join me on the stage. Are you guys ready? Fusion Sports. Come on up. Come on down. Somebody save your soul cause you've been sinning in the city I know too many troubles, all these lovers got you losing control You like a drug to me, a luxury, my sugar and gold I want the good life every good night, you're a hot one to hold Cause you don't even know I can make your hands clap Said I can make your hands clap Somebody save your soul cause you've been sinning in the city I know too many these lovers got to lose control You like a drug to me, a luxury, my sugar and gold I want your sex and your affection when they're holding you close Cause you don't even know I can make your hands clap Said I can make your hands clap Every night when the stars come out Am I the Wow! Uh, totally unexpected uh, very much appreciate everybody who recognized us with this honor. Uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, I'm a serial entrepreneur, you kind of just put your head down, right? You just, you just do what you're doing every day, you come into work, and uh, it, it, there's some missteps along the way. Sometimes you do it right, sometimes you do it wrong. Most of the time I feel like we think we're doing it wrong, but this, I guess, means we're doing something right. So, um, you know, the key for us, we, we, we started here in Cleveland, we're very loyal. There's a lot of our customers that are up there on that board today. Um, we haven't revolutionized anything, we just did it differently and we feel like we've done it better. Um, we, we do decorated apparel and gear for companies like everybody here in the audience and we love doing it and that's the difference. Uh, and we, we have a passion that we bring to work every day. We built a great team. Um, and I think that's the key to us continuing to win and 
Uh, hopefully we'll be in the next category next time. But thank you everybody for uh, showing us this award and recognizing our efforts. Thank you. All right, congratulations to Fusion Sports for an extraordinary year and an extraordinary accomplishment. All right, we've done it. Congratulations to all the 2022 winners. I wanna thank you all for your participation this evening. On behalf of the Weatherhead School of Management and our presenting sponsor, Key Bank, we are grateful for your hard work, ingenuity, and presence right here in Northeast Ohio. You can exit through the rear of the ballroom where you can pick up your award. Complimentary crane special sections can be found in the foyer and near the escalators and the elevators. Now be sure to check your mailboxes for your December 12th edition of the paper which will feature the special Weatherhead 100 report. And don't forget, use the hashtag on social, hashtag WH100-2022 if you forget. It's right there all lit up. Until next year, you guys be safe and have a great night.